It's Local Edition. I'm Brad Palmer and so glad you're with us today. So glad Susan Jeske is with us today. She is the CEO of the Ms. America contestant pageant. It's coming up on September 3rd in Brea at the Curtis Theater. What is Ms. America? Well, the Ms. America pageant is for women 26 years of age and up, single, married, divorced, or widowed. There's no swimsuit and no talent but it's based on evening gown, interview, sportswear, and onstage question. I love that it's for women 26 and up. I know. Because women are beautiful at all ages. Exactly. Uh, what made you decide to be such a proponent? Because I know you were Ms. America one day. What right. made you decide that you wanted to take this pageant and really grow it so that these women could be ambassadors? Um, that's a good question. You know what? The pageant has a life of its own. Mm. When I won Ms. America, my platform was Students Against Violence, and I went to 150 high schools across the nation. And that was when I realized the power of the crown. And, um, and you brought a crown. I did. I brought she the brought the crown. <laughs> this is the new crown <laughs> for 19 uh, for, for, uh, not, for 2017. 17. We've had it this redesigned. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Yes. And I'm glad you brought up the issue of your platform because part of the requirement to be a contestant is? To have a cause or a platform that you champion and that you use your title to go out and help people with it. Why is that important? What makes it the mission of this organization? Because when you are a state title holder or oh. a national title holder, it makes you a little bit of a mini celebrity and I saw yes, the it power. Does. It, it and does. I, and yeah. I, saw you, I saw the power of the crown through my own experience and it's amazing how much influence you could have and more credibility right. that you could have that brings attention to it. it's not only the crown, it. but it's the sash. I mean, there is something <laughs> about the That's sash. That's a beautiful sash. And it is beautiful. I, I think you should try it on. I was, how do it be like this? Could it be like yes. this? I mean, it's, it's, it's beautiful. And then what is this called? Help me. That's the scepter. The scepter. I mean. So she, yes. I must say that I congratulate you and the organization because this is the first year yes. that every single contestant is going to receive this medal. This is quite a special medal. It is. Susan, what is it? It's um, it's a president. It's an award from the president of the United States. Just the president of the United States. Yes, it's the, the president it's of the presidential United volunteer service award. And as a group, the contestants qualified for this. Mm -hmm. So they receive a letter from the White House with President Barack Obama's sig signature, mm -hmm. as well as certificate, and then they receive this gold medal on stage. And as a group, the contestants has made over 2,000 hours of community service since May, and they're all documented. Whether one wins or does not, to be able to show this medal that came from the President of the United States, that really, sh it, it indicates the dedication uh, that exactly. these women have. Sus I mean, sustained community service. Tell us about the current Ms. America from oh. Utah, because we can get a sense of the power of the crown through her. She has been amazing, mm. so amazing. I'm so proud of her. She's made over 100 appearances as Ms. America, and um, her platform, it's about um, empowering yourself and uh, using, because you empower yourself, you're able to go out and help other people. So her, uh, she's made over 100 appearances and has really you know, taken the crown and the title and just made, done a wonderful job I with it. have known you for a few years, and yes. I am so proud of what you've done Thank you. to highlight women of all ages, but especially those above 26 years old. <laughs> the pageant is coming up on September 3rd at the Curtis Theater in Brea. It's going to be live streamed on alertheglobe.com. Yes. She's Susan Jeske. I'm Brad Pomerantz, <laughs> Local Edition.